A big, big congrats on Lil Wing. It's an, an affecting coming of age story that speaks volumes about the sweetness of life, and I enjoyed it. Thank you. I'm glad. You're so welcome. So, Mr. Dean, you've you've done found footage in Project Almanac, a reboot of Power Rangers, a children's horror anthology, and Are You Afraid of the Dark? And now you have Little Wing. It's it's kind of sort of like a departure from all your past projects. So, what got you interested in making in directing Little Wing? You know, John Gaydon sent me the script, and and uh, we worked together on Power Rangers, and he sent me the script, and I loved it. Um, and I loved that it was. Uh, a more mature film than I've made. I love that it was really substantive. Um, it deals with themes that I've dealt with before, but but without the trappings of a genre attached to it. And I really wanted to do something that felt substantive, that felt like it dealt with real people going through real things. Um, and as much as I enjoy doing the genre stuff um, and the challenge of all of that, I wanted to make something that was just purely character driven. That must be a little freeing, right? Not being in the in the confines of a genre. Definitely. I mean, it's in some ways the genre helps you because there are, you know, conventions to it. Um, so, so it's a it's both it's both freeing and a, and a little scary, um, but it's so rewarding, and uh, I really enjoyed prepping this movie because every day I was prepping the scenes um, yeah. and what the scenes were about. And on bigger movies, uh, movies that have a genre element, it's fun, but you're also prepping the, 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 the superhero elements to it or the time travel elements to it. Um, the fun and, part. You know, and, and, and then you have to make time to prep sort of the yeah. human character part of it, whereas this is just you're, you're prepping the character part the whole time. You have a great cast. I mean, let's talk about Brooklyn Prince. She's great as Caitlin. What made you zero in on her? I was deep in the in the audition process. I'd seen hundreds of kids. I was sort of narrowing in on some people, and I went to the Cocaine Bear premiere, and I saw Brooklyn, and you know, I remembered her from from Florida Project, and I was like, we just we need to bring this girl in. She's matured into. She's still a phenomenal actress. She lit the screen up in Cocaine Bear. Very different tone to the movie, obviously. And she came in and auditioned and she she blew us away. Wow. And at its heart, it's all about home, right? I mean, home is really where the heart is. Do you agree with me on that? Yes. You know, I think that the movie deals with the ideas of home, both externally, but also internally, feeling, you know, figuring out where you belong and how you belong in your own skin in a way. Um, so yeah, I mean, the pigeons are a, a metaphor for a lot of, I think, relatable themes in this film. You want me to start racing pigeons. <laughs> you made me want to do that, Mr. D. Good, good, I'm glad. <laughs> oh, no, Lil Wing, it's set to stream on Paramount Plus. What do you hope for viewers to get after watching the film? You know, I think the movie deals with some real issues that I think are important. Um, and ultimately, I think the movie is really joyful and life-affirming. And so I hope people come out of the movie feeling like they can face down their own crises and sort of push to the other side of that. Oh, a big congrats on Little Wing again, Mr. Dean. And like what the movie said, life is really, really sweet. Thank you.